There we go. So we'll start colouring in. Remember the ordering. First of all, we'll do the face. Now just colour in white for now. Uh, then we'll do the ears. Sometimes you won't just be able to select the shape because that will select too much and you might need to select it by points. It's normally when you start filling in you notice when you've made the mistakes. Okay, we've just about filled that in, so let's draw that there. Alright, now we've got it all filled in, and we can check that it's all in the right order. Oops. There we go, that looks all in the right order. We just missed out the eyebrows. Okay, now we can start uh, making it coloured in. Fix some of the technical aspects first, like the uh, ears. There we go. Okay, so we just use the select shape and then we choose the colour. If you want to get the same colour, just click on the shape, then copy the code here. Next thing we can do is start playing with line uh, line thickness because not all lines are the same. Now the eyebrows need to be thicker.
Maybe you might, ah, maybe you might want just the whole thing a little bit thicker. Alright then, so there we've uh, traced another enemy uh, character. And we, uh, it's not just go around the edge, it's actually, um, we've completely uh, managed to make it all separate which has its advantages of course you might want to trace slightly differently you might want to um, you might want to just go around everything but I find that this uh, technique is easiest for colouring in and getting the right effects uh, you can go ahead now and shade it if you want, but I think that's okay at the moment.